Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we will be talking about Elizabeth Taylor and take a peek inside her house from the 2011 issue of Architectural Digest. So I found a photo of her vanity showcasing all of her beauty products that she used around the year 2011 and I was surprised to see so many unique products so I will be sharing those with you. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is where I talk about all things vintage fashion and beauty. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my new Instagram account, Dahlia's in the Attic. I also link that below. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Elizabeth Taylor and her vanity from 2011. So I was just researching online about Elizabeth Taylor and tried to find more about her makeup routine and her beauty products and then I found an old issue from 2011 in its Architectural Digest and there was a spread in there with photos of her home and I was excited to find all of these beautiful photos of her vanity as well as her living room and bedroom and I just thought it was such a beautiful house and she bought it in the 1980s. And her house is in Bel Air and it's a four bedroom estate. And I was surprised to see on her vanity that she has all of her perfumes on there and I was so excited because the estate of Elizabeth Taylor saw my other Elizabeth Taylor video and they decided to send me a whole bunch of her perfumes and I was so excited about that. They sent me her classic white diamonds perfume, which is also displayed on her vanity. And then they also sent me white diamonds on rouge, which was also on her vanity. And then Elizabeth Taylor's Gardenia. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. I think the bottle is beautiful too and it honestly smells incredible. And then the state of Elizabeth Taylor also sent me Love and White Diamonds, which is another beautiful fragrance. And I was so surprised to see that she, Elizabeth Taylor actually wore her perfumes on a regular basis, which was kind of nice because you know a lot of celebrities endorse products, but they don't actually use it. So it goes to show you that she believed in her product and wore it on a regular basis. I also saw on her vanity, she had several YSL lip glosses. I bought one in this like bright red color, it's Rouge 11. It looks like a classic color that Elizabeth Taylor would have worn. She also had several NARS lipsticks and uh, NARS blush. I'm not sure of the exact shade, but I know one of the most popular NARS blush shades is Orgasm, so hopefully that is the one she used. She also had some Estee Lauder pure color eyeshadows on her vanity, as well as Tom Ford lipsticks, several Dior lipsticks, and it looks like she used the La Prairie skincare line. Obviously, I wanted to buy all of these products for the video, but I think it would be very expensive to purchase all of these, and obviously I would like to try them, so hopefully in the future I can even try the La Prairie skincare line. And looking at her house, I just love her decor. It definitely has that old Hollywood vintage look. It's totally how I would decorate my house if I had a beautiful mansion in Bel Air. But I just love her bedroom too. I love the use of blues. I just think it's so beautiful and feminine and just has that old Hollywood glam, even though she bought the house in the 1980s. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Elizabeth Taylor's house and have you tried any of her perfumes? All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.